everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, as you see here, I got a new do, or you know, no do at all. Pretty much all the hair is gone. Which is good, you know, low maintenance during this hot summer months. So. But anyway, um, on this week's tutorial, uh, I'm going to go back uh, to doing something with GIMP. And in, uh, in this episode, I'm going to show you how to uh, take faces and put them into objects. Or merge faces into objects. Now, why would someone want to do that? Maybe to create memes. Maybe to emphasize, you know, that person is, you know... A certain object of some sort you know um, for thumbnails maybe for a comedic factor you know but anyway let's uh, first get started um, let's uh, turn on GIMP and let's start off with um, creating an image And let's go by the usual thumbnail size, 1280 by 720. Let's uh, bring in our layers. Got a couple of pictures here I'm going to import. Just by these layers, you can tell that uh, what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be uh, taking uh, Mr. Uh, Trump's face and I'm going to put it on the orange. Now, I know some of you online will probably lose their minds because of this, but this is all for educational purposes. No. Change it to twelve eighty. Perfect. Now we uh, put Trump's uh, layer on top. Now let's add an alpha channel to this layer. Let's first uh, move it a little bit. There we go. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna erase everything around the face. So um, just select the eraser tool, select you know the lightest brush you have. Because we don't want we kinda want like a blended edge, not like a very sharp edge. So we'll get this the softest uh, brush there is. And make the brush pretty large, and you just you know erase, just erase all this stuff around. Erase the counter, erase the background here as well. We don't need. Raise the ears, our little, little bit of a chin, it's okay. Probably raise the the collar, then the ears and the hair. Here. 
Alright, that's looking pretty good so far. Hold it. Alright, now we're gonna move this face into place. Damn, don't even need to rescale, it fits in perfectly. Alright, now we take this uh, layer and uh, duplicate it. Now go back to the bottom layer and change the mode for that layer to Brain Merge. It merged pretty, uh, pretty nicely. There's like, uh, I don't think I need to do any more editing, really. But um, you know what? We we just gonna uh, use a layer mesh to just bring out the eyes and the teeth. So let's just add a. Uh, a layer mass full transparency and what we gotta do is um we gotta blow it up and we gotta just move the image eyes and just get the brush tool. Uh, change it to white so that you paint something white um, the image behind it will come through everything that is black will be covered so we're gonna use a medium brush and we're gonna make the brush uh, small so um, actually pretty small let's start off with um, 9 uh, a little too big uh, a little bit smaller ah, come on hands be steady today And you just uh, paint to bring out the eyes a bit. Now, like this. Well, let's go over. Let's work on this other eye too while we're at it. get more of the edges put on to the teeth now, I could fast forward this part but you pretty much get the idea pretty much you will use the brush you just uh, fill in and uh, bring in the bottom uh, layer over the out the apply mass, and we're just gonna bring the teeth out and the eyes out. It's pretty much. I'll uh, just fast forward this part. Alright, we got the eyes out a bit, the teeth. Let's 
see here there's a little bit of a line on the side. What we could do is we could use the smudge tool. And brush it a little bigger. And just select the bottom layer. And just smudge the bottom of it. Have a better blend. There we go. Alright. Also, um, that's the eyes are kind of like really dark, you know. Let's uh, go into color and contrast, or brightness and contrast, and let's see if we can bring it out a little bit. So there you go, that's how you would, you know, merge a face into an object or, you know, put a face into an object. Um, I could have easily put his face on, you know, other objects like maybe a pepper, um, school bus, um, you know, whatever you could come up with. As long as you have one layer that is uh, gray merge, um, and then from then on you can work around it to adjust the photo depending on uh, what object you, uh, you're using. Alright, leave in the comments if you have any questions. Um, hit the like button if you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the notification bell to uh, get notified of uh, upcoming videos. As always everybody have a nice day and I see you on the next video. Take care everybody.